What's going on guys? Serious HD here and today I'm bringing you guys an amazing discovery. Um it's going to be how to debug get this a PSN digital download game. Yes, you can now use debug eBoots on them and I'm going to explain how to do it. The only tools you're going to need are an eBoot builder for the game you want and True Ancestors self res I mean uh resigner. I'm not going to call it self resigner, but you're going to need all of this. Um you're going to need version 1.91. Um that's what I have and um, you're going to need all of these. You're not going to need the eBoot Builder, don't worry about that, um, unless you're building for that game, of course. So um, basically what I'm going to be covering in this video is how to do it for two different versions. If your eBoot cannot be decrypted, um, I'm not entirely sure if you can do it. But um, this is going to be how to basically use a, uh, basically, ten for the most part, a fake eBoot, for the most part, um, on the uh, PSN games. Now, um... Basically, the first thing you're going to want, of course, is going to be your eBoot. Um, I built an eBoot in here. I don't know why I didn't put it in the MW3 folder like I was going to. But, um, yeah, so that was supposed to be in here. But anyway, so I used the eBoot builder by, um, I think it was I, ITDM. I'm not sure. Um, but it's, you know, pretty reliable. You need to make an eBoot. Okay, now once you have an eBoot, you're not going to build it for your region. You're, you're going to build it, or you're going to build it for like uh, what normal games would be for your region. So, you, so instead of like NPUB 31, whatever, um, you're going to be using like BLUS, you know, whatever. So once you've built that eBoot, you're going to go ahead and place it in this folder right here with this resigner. Now this is going to be the first version of how this would work. Um, normally, you will not have to go through most of these steps, but um, <sighs> Sometimes you have to go through it. So you're going to go ahead and run the resigner. Now before you um, go ahead and continue through this, make sure that you've grabbed something called your DR DRM ID. Um, it should be the same, but um, if it's not, basically you're going to go into your um, NPUB whatever folder, go into DRM DIR and you're going to get something like this, for example, and it's going to say .hdr. Just ignore the file extension and just copy this number right here. Okay, um, you, I just wrote it down. You don't have to copy it from the file manager or anything. So, um, once you know that, for Modern Warfare 3, and this may be for other games as well, you're going to have to decrypt the eBoot like it's an F self. Um, so, this is the first type of game. Um, it's technically already made with a certain type of eBoot, okay, and we're going to decrypt it as an F self, even though it isn't. So, first thing you want to go ahead and do is, in, is uh, enable 4.21 CFW, and you're going to hit 9. And it's going to decrypt it. Now, once it's decrypted the eBoot, you're going to, I mean, just right away, you're not going to do anything to the eBoot. All you're going to do is hit 3. Now, it's, this is going to pop up. This is going to be resigning it to an NPDRM eBoot. You're going to want to go ahead and paste that ID you just got a second ago from your uh, DRM directory. And you're going to go ahead and enter. And it's going to patch it and encrypt it. Once it's encrypted it, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit 1 to decrypt it again. Once you've decrypted it again, you can close out of the tool and you're going to go reopen it. It's a bug in the tool that we're going to work our way around. Go ahead and re-enable the firmware. All right. Now all you're going to do is hit 11 and wait. It should resign successfully and you can close out of the tool. That's a Modern Warfare 3 PSN version debug eBoot. I wish you guys show you guys some proof, but I'm quite limited on time and my PC probably couldn't handle it right now. So um, I will provide proof after the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and delete these eBoots, and we're going to try it with a different kind of game. Now, the Black Ops 2 games, uh, or the Black Ops 2 type of games, or we're going to call these um, the normal eBoot games. Basically, you're going to get your eBoot, okay, and you're going to try the same steps, but it's going to be in a little bit of a different order. Go ahead and paste it in, rename it to eBoot.bin if you haven't already. You need to build your own eBoot for, again for um, not the same direct or not the same region. It could be any other region. So um, first thing you're going to do is go ahead and get your DRM number uh, yet again. Um, I think I know mine. It should be in this text document. Yep. Go ahead and copy that. Go ahead into the resigner. Hit decrypt eBoot. Now this time it's going to be 1. It's not going to be 9 because this is an actual, this is just a normal eBoot. It's not an F self. It should decrypt it successfully. And now you're just going to straight away re-encrypt it as an NPDRM eBoot. Now, um... Mine already has a content ID because I've already apparently done this eBoot, but we're going to go ahead and redo it. So just um, if you get this error, hit A. 
Now you're just going to paste the eBoot, or I mean paste the uh, DRM number, hit enter, and you're going to encrypt it. Give it a second to encrypt. Now once it's encrypted, you're going to go ahead and re-decrypt it. And now you're going to go ahead and exit out of the tool, load it again, and hit A to enable the firmware, yes, and you're going to go ahead and hit 11. Once it's patched it, you're good to go. That's a Black Ops 2 eBoot. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I've not experimented with other games, but this should be a standard for most of the games. If one of those two methods, or if both of those methods don't work, let me know in the comment section below what type of game it is. Link me your eBoot, and I'll try and figure it out for you. This is for the... Um, NPUB whatever series. Um, this is for the downloaded PSN games. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw some proof in here. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, all that. And um, if you use this tutorial somewhere else, I'd like some credit. I'm not going to fight for it because I know people, you know, take stuff like this without even regarding the uh, original founder. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you guys later. Alright, so um, here we are in the game. Instead of throwing music like I normally would in the background, I'm going to explain a little bit. So it's kind of hard to prove that this game is the PSN version of the game. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I will, but um, basically this is just going to be a quick little um, proof segment for Modern Warfare 3. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm using the eBoot I made and resigned in the video. So, um, the good thing about PSN games and the advantage is that it's a lot faster than the other games. You're not, you know, using anything like a, uh, uh, emulator or anything. So you're actually running the pure game itself, and it runs a lot cleaner, a lot smoother, and you freeze a lot less. So, as you can see, just got, um, you know, quite a bit of, uh, XP for this. And, uh, I'm doing pretty well as far as the, uh... XP and stuff goes. Got Pro Mod. Um, I've got some other stuff on here. I forgot what I've got. I'm pretty sure I've got Rapid Fire on, so if I can find an automatic really quickly. Uh, I've got to kill myself. Can't remember most of it. I've got UAV and all that, of course. The only problem is the, the you know, steady aim bull crap. Whenever you don't have steady aim, it's really glitchy. But yeah, you guys can see the uh, the Rapid Fire. See me emptying my clip in about half a second. So anyway, that's the, uh, the this is the debug eboot on um, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I would show you guys the uh, Prodigy connection and everything, but uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory to begin with. If you don't know how to connect to your debug eboots from your PS3, there are pl plenty of tutorials out there on how to connect it um, using TMapping. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to switch over to the Black Ops 2 proof. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get some Black Ops 2 proof going here. I'm going to debug eBoot using Dex Modder for the Winds SPRX on the downloaded version of Black Ops 2. I'll show you guys in a second. Hopefully I don't freeze signing in. Give it a second so I can uh, be able to go into a lobby really quickly. Alright, should be able to connect to online services. There we go, I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys proof that I'm on the NPUB 31054. Alright, so there you go, you have proof there. Um, I'm pretty sure if I go to the game data utility as well. Yep, see BLUS 31011, which is the technical region code. This is the actual game I'm playing, NPUB 31054. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to set up a game really quickly, a TDM game, just to prove that the SPRX and everything's working and all that. Um, I will not be linking um, any links or anything in the description for the uh, tools and all that um, because, to be completely honest with you guys, um, I don't feel like getting a copyright strike uh, for linking the aimbot and everything else is pretty much you know, self-explanatory. You should be able to find the self-resigner somewhere else. Um, it is on one of my other videos, so if you get a chance you can go and look at that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into a game with some bots and give some proof that I'm using debug eBoot. 
If you guys have any questions regarding this, leave it in the comment section, and I will try and get to it. If it, please look though, if it's already been answered somewhere or it's been answered in the description, I will not reply to your comments Death because match. most of the time they're already been they've already been answered. As you guys can see, I already have the laser and the um, center crosshairs, and I'm already looking command. at the enemies. Obviously, it works. Look at that; it's clean. It's really clean. I like it. The only problem with this is that I can't talk. To them. It could be you online. Now imagine the beauty of the Like that's the definition of how enjoy. Down and clear. Anyway, hope you guys another kill. Um, hopefully this was enough proof. I have some people in the comment section going fake, fake. Um, hopefully some of you guys. Can talk to He's gone! Successfully complete and just make everyone else look like crap. Drop them! Um, and that's all, guys. See you guys later.